1923 Main Street. Home of the Disney Travel Podcast with the latest Disney Travel News. We are your hosts. I am Mike Bella Braddock. And I'm Amelia Bella Braddock. And today, summer dining at Walt Disney World. What's new and where should you hit? And Pixar Place Hotel finally becomes actually Pixar. Yeah, <laughs> we'll get to that one in a minute, but let's keep on our theme of Disney dining. So recently we gave our top 10 restaurants for summer dining at Walt Disney World table service. Not necessarily the same as our top 10 generally, because some of them have a good summer advantage. Yes, and seasonal also, is everything. Yeah, and also we talk about some new restaurants that are opening. But now Disney is tempting us once again with some special dishes across much of Walt Disney World. So we'll dive into that because I don't know if it's just us, but food is an important part of a Disney vacation. Oh, very much so. Of course, I'm joking when I say that because dining episodes are some of our most popular. So let's dive right in. If you like to try the latest and the greatest that Disney Culinary whips up, here is what you can look forward to if you are heading there this summer. Yes, so first off, hitting home in the Canada Pavilion at Le Cellier Steakhouse in Epcot, there are a few interesting dishes yeah, that I'm you can sure try Yeah, I'm not sure I summer. love these personally, but, you know, I like when they add new stuff. Somebody's going to like it, hopefully. They're out there. Hopefully you'll like some of these. So they have a green onion and garlic Canadian cove mussels featuring PEI mussels with ramp pistu cream and broiled ciabatta. Yeah, that's an appetizer. Broiled ciabatta. So, I don't know, is this on like a bruschetta or something? I can't picture it. I just can't picture them making something And they have a soup, it looks like, in the summer. <laughs> I don't know, not for me, but anyway. Yes, they have a mushroom bisque soup, which combines moral mushrooms, potatoes, and creme fraiche. And then finally, there is the jumbo chilled shrimp with cocktail sauce and espalette pepper cream. Yeah. Um. Do you like chilled shrimp and shrimp rings and all that? I mean, I eat it. Yeah. I mean, I eat it if it's at a party, but I don't think I would order this. I love shrimp. I just never get excited about chilled shrimp. It just doesn't scream summer to me, any of these. Yeah. Like, and then Canada um, gets really hot in the summer. And none of this reflects. I mean, too it well. is. It might be nice in there with lots of AC, and it's sort of you know a little bit darker and underground. It, or Maybe again, yeah, not underground, but uh-huh. it feels like a cellar because Le Cellier. Yeah. And they also have a couple of plant-based dishes, which seem to be popping up everywhere now. So fried cauliflower is one of them with yeah, tahini, they- espuma, pine nut brittle, and radishes. I'll pass on that, but sounds not too bad. I don't mind fried cauliflower. Really, I was going to say the fried cauliflower actually sounds better than some of the meat dishes. And then a Canadian tortillere, a Canadian a chickpea and mushroom pie hmm, with braised endive, snap peas, stone fruit ketchup, which might be interesting on its own, and a plant-based demi glass. But they do have some new entrees. Again, not for me, but you know. Well, they have the prime steak tartare. Kiba Nawe. What I don't know. I do not know what that means. And it's a little bit strange, right? Bulgar wheat, radish, mint, and garlic aioli. You've had steak tartare. Do you like it? Which is raw steak, essentially. No. Yeah. So steak tartare, <laughs> if you haven't had it, and this it's basically raw, like good steak meat, and it's uh, ground up and mixed with spices and things. So, And then it formed into a patty or something. So there's that. And they also have grilled scallops with caviar, a zucchini fritter, Patty pen squash, sweet drop pepper, and a creamy piquillo sauce. That one is more interesting to me than the steak tartare, but I'll probably just go for a regular steak if I go there. Now, some of the more fun ones are at the value resorts. Yes, some of these I actually would love to try. So over at the food courts in Disney's All-Star Resorts, Art of Animation, and Caribbean Beach and Port Orleans, French Quarter, and Riverside Resorts, as well as Pop Century. Wow, so lots of places. Yeah, so lots of value and moderates. They have a new Korean-style Impossible Burger, which is topped with Korean-style barbecue sauce and pickled vegetable slaw. And these locations also have plant-based chocolate cake with vanilla buttercream and sprinkles. Yeah, so lots of plant-based stuff. I'll Not, try these. You're gonna even though it's an impossible burger? 
I'll try it. Why okay. not? I mean, yeah. I'll ditch the coleslaw, but other than that. Oh, I like the coleslaw. Yeah, there. Had. You'll there need you that with an impossible burger. You're going to want some You can juiciness. take that f- off me. And they're also a Cuban burger at Pop Century. So this one is just a burger. So this has ham, pickled pepper relish, provolone, and Dijonese on a toasted brioche bun. Mm. I think you might like that better. I d- well, you'll like the bun anyway. They catch me with the toasted brioche bun. It's just so good. And the End Zone Food Court at All Star Sports Resort has a new burger starting June 21st. Hey, that's my birthday and, and the first day of summer. Most sunshine. Yes, this is the Bases Loaded Burger. And this one has bacon, jam, an onion ring, and beer cheese sauce on a toasted burger. I just bun. had a burger recently with an onion ring on it. And while I get the idea, it's too much for me to bite through all that stuff. I'll just keep my onion ring on the side. But bacon jam is interesting. I mean, it wasn't kidding when it said the bases were loaded. So Yeah, I have a feeling this is going to be a mouthful. A tough one to eat. And also in the food courts at All Star Sports, the sweet summertime favorite is a dessert version of a summertime classic hot dog and french fries. And it has chocolate sugar cookies and a raspberry dipping sauce. Yeah, and this is at all the All Star resorts, at all of them. That sounds interesting. So it's like a dessert burger, I guess, or sorry, hot dog. Anyway, interesting to see. And if you want more sweets, of course, yeah. there's no shortage of those. Centertown Market at Caribbean Beach has two new Sundays: The Mickey Sunday, which is a vanilla chocolate swirl soft serve, and it has mini brownies on top, Mickey but ears. M- not mini, mini mouse. Petite M-I- brownies on top. M-I-N-I brownies on top. Yes. Nice choice of wording there, Disney. Mickey ears, of course. Yes, and chocolate decor. And then the vanilla soft serve mini as in mouse Sunday has strawberry sauce, mini ears, mini as in mouse again, and a bow with chocolate decor. Yes. And then over at the deli at the boardwalk, the new deli on Disney's boardwalk, you will find... Now, this one looks sort of weird, right? We'll post a picture of it because it's like a wheel standing up is how it looks. It's a strawberry shortcake croissant It looks like roll. a cinnamon bun standing up with icing on yeah, the side. Yeah, it's like a cinnamon bun on its side. So it's a croissant dough, sort of rolled, not like a croissant traditionally, with strawberry filling, but it's only available on weekends. Ooh. Yeah, so a little twist there. I do not know why. Maybe Did their the, chefs have limited I was availability? Say, maybe the pastry chef who makes these only works weekends at that Ooh, location. make it exclusive. And then over at the Grand Floridian, our favorite haunt, there is also a summer berry shortcake yes. at Gasparilla Island Grill. This is a moist vanilla sponge, blueberry compote, strawberries, and chantilly. Yeah, that sounds good. Nice. If you I'll like, I'll try uh, this very close to where we are, so I'll definitely give it a shot. Yeah, it's like it's funny because it's got strawberries in it, but because it has blueberries, it's not technically a strawberry shortcake. It's just a berry shortcake, a multiple berry shortcake. And then for those of you who would like to try a summertime cocktail, yes. head on over to Disney's Wilderness Lodge, Geyser Point, where they have a new summer margarita flight. So you can try several margaritas all at once. And they have black cherry spicy pineapple. Has me very interesting. I might try to make something like that at home now that I see it here. Raspberry and cucumber melon margaritas. So that's one, two, three, four margaritas in that flight. Yes. At and, Geyser Point at Wilderness Lodge. Yeah, and there's more new cocktails at Coronado Springs. Yeah, Toledo. A smoked passion fruit. Now, I love smoked cocktails. So this one has Augustine brandy with demerara syrup, passion fruit, smoked cinnamon as well, and a house made frozen orange juice cube. Mm. So we don't ever really go to Coronado. I would try that if I went there. However, I am not going to make a special trip there just for that. I tried the orange cube. I sort of view Coronado as the animal kingdom of the moderates. <laughs> sort of too far out and isolated all on its own. Speaking of Animal yeah. Kingdom Park. This what? one I want to try. <laughs> all right, go ahead. Because this reminds me of the pineapple upside down cake, which was popular a couple summers ago, which I did not get to try. So I will be looking out so for this, this one. So this is at Tamu Tamu in Animal Kingdom Park. Yes, this is a new pineapple crisp sundae, which combines a pineapple crisp cake with vanilla ice cream and is topped with pineapple caramel and crispy streusel topping. So you should make a note of this now so when we're there, we don't forget. And also there's a fried chicken sandwich coming back to Restaurantosaurus. We've eaten there a few times, not bad for quick service. And I guess the fried chicken sandwich is popular because they're bringing it back and it is on a warm brioche brioche bun. bun. (laughs) So it's a crispy fried chicken breast, pickles, lettuce, tomato, and a roasted garlic aioli. And yes, it comes with fries. So there you go. So it's basically you don't have to go to Popeye's. Of course it comes with fries. <laughs> this to. is Disney World, Daddy. Everything comes with fries. 
And then they're not the only one bringing back some old favorites. Yes, Flame Tree Barbecue also has their returning fan favorite, the ribs, chicken, and pulled pork sampler. Yeah, are I've all, had that. I've had that in the past. All it's pretty good. Making their it's return really, this it, year. Yeah, it's really good if you've never eaten a Flame Tree, and I highly recommend Flame Tree. It's, yeah. it's authentic. It's truly wood fired barbecue. So it's definitely worth going there. And this is a good sampler if you haven't eaten there. And yeah. there's tons of seating hidden in the yeah. back. Yeah. Sometimes it can get a little bit hot in the summer, but just snag a good spot in the shade and you should be good to go. Yeah. When you're facing it to the left, you can sort of walk in to the left of where you order. And there's just the seating goes quite far down different terraces and it's pretty well shaded. And everyone has a cool different theme. I'll just leave it at that. Take a look around when you're there. And finally, if you're me and you love a good ice cream sandwich, the Dino Dig ice cream sandwich has vanilla ice cream between two house-made sugar cookies with chocolate sprinkles, cookie crumbs, sugar bones, and cute white chocolate dinosaurs. Obviously, this is also in Dino Land. So that's yes. why I said. Now, would you want that sugar cookies ice cream sandwich? I don't know. I'd try it. Yeah, I'd, I don't like sugar cookies. Are so they iced is I'll my question. I'll stick with a Mickey sandwich. If they're iced, then I will give it a shot. All right. And finally, our next news story. Now, we made fun of this when they, <laughs> many episodes back, when they announced um, the Paradise Pier was becoming Pixar and they put in the new pathway to the California Adventure Park. But we said, um, you can't just change the name, but leave it as Paradise Pier. So many, many, many months later... Finally, the theming uh, is being fixed, <laughs> so Pixar will truly be Pixar-themed. Yes, the exterior already has a new look, and now the lobby will continue to be remodeled over the next few months as its pixar -ness is taking over. And by winter, the hotel lobby will feature the classic Pixar lamp playfully balancing atop its ball. Yeah, late in the summer, so if you're going in the summer, late. so they're saying, hopefully it's on track there'll be an all-new water crossed. play area inspired by nemo and friends and you know crush is there so i'm and there's a huge 186 foot long water slide which makes sense with crush and hank will be there as well hanging out on the jet splash pad so hopefully that does make it open by the summer and then later in the year a family play court will be added to the pool deck with activities inspired by Pixar shorts, so there'll be interactive games. And also there will be food and drink there under the Love Struck Umbrellas from the Blue Umbrella short. And After Dark, the pool deck. Oh, uh, your favorite time. You gotta love pool decks After Dark. And this one specifically will become a great spot where you can see the Disneyland fireworks or just lounge by the cozy character-inspired fire pit. Yeah, this is interesting. I'm curious about the view because it's by California Adventure, but they're saying it's a great spot to watch the Disneyland Park fireworks in particular. So I'm sure they'll be a little distant over the, probably like maybe the Polynesian to see the Disney World yeah. Magic Kingdom fireworks. Which are not bad. As and long in as the you fall, have the right yeah, this one's weird to me. So in the fall, they're saying there's a new restaurant opening called Great Maple. Now, Great Maple for, you know, it says it's a Southern California based modern American eatery. Well, I think of maple as us in Canada or Vermont in the States and thinking of maple syrup and things. So I'm really yeah. sort of confused by California being called Great Maple. Yeah, if it's you just... want to tie in Pixar, just, just make it turning red. That was set in Toronto, guys. Yeah, this just doesn't make sense to me at all in terms of the naming and the theming. Nonetheless, it will be upscale comfort food serving breakfast, lunch, and dinner. They all sound delicious, <laughs> so we'll be stopping patio. by. And they're specifically saying we'll be open to hotel guests, local diners, and theme park visitors. So they're trying to make this a destination. Yes, and a grab-and-go coffee shop near the lobby. Yes, please. Now they do, yeah, so signature dishes at this restaurant, buttermilk fried chicken and maple bacon donuts. I don't know. I'll That's try all of this. Sort of Canadian eyes things. But nonetheless, Cajun shrimp and cheddar biscuit Benedict and uh, maybe a little bit Southern soda pop braised baby back ribs. So I don't know. This is not California to me, but still sounds good. Just seems like odd theming that's misplaced. Are they sure? Are we yeah. sure they didn't mean Southern Canada? Yeah, I don't know. It are we sure this isn't a typo, Disney? I think they blew the theming personally on that one. But anyway, that is all the news this week, everyone. Lots of food to talk about because, hey, that's what it's all about. And especially in summer, you can eat your way around the world and Disneyland too. So thanks for listening. As always, follow along on social media at 1923 Main Street. We will see you again next week and have a magical day. Bye-bye.